Who are you guys rooting for, guys? Who is it? Who is it? I, I always root for the underdog, and in my opinion, Dignitas will be the underdog in this matchup. Um, they are not a bad team by any sorts, but MYM is just more consistent, and consistency wins you games. Consistency wins you matches. And uh, that is uh, that is probably what we're going to be seeing out here, but I am definitely going to be rooting here, I think, for Dignitas, as I do like that team. Um, I've always liked that team. Even back when they were uh, six fans back in BF3, I watched them quite heavily on all their streams. Uh, when they were doing cups and all kinds of good stuff like that. So uh, let's see what they're going to be coming out with. As uh, we are going to be having probably a two. I don't know. They're, they're kind of gearing up over here. And they may be going for a two-man push over on the Bravo flag. But let's take a look. One second left to go. There we go. As we are live. We are going to be seeing a heavy or a one-man A push coming in for Dignitas. It's going to be Waldo. Yeah, two-man push over to B. And this is where I was saying, uh, MYM electing not to go over onto Bravo, so they always have some weird strats that they come out with. Waldo, though, uh, might actually be able to get a back rage coming in here for Charlie Flack. Doesn't have to. His teammate there to pick it up. That's going to be Jerk, as he's going to be another pick up there on Flax. That was a beautiful play, as he will be able to stop any kind of push coming in to Charlie Flag. Now we are going to be having safe, making their way out back to Bravo Flag. It's going to be a one-on-two situation here as uh, really not too favorable in his uh, position. We do have Sneaky, though, spotting that out. He ends up going down, so it's going to be off to Masu, and he will be able to clean that up quite easily. The B flag will be staying into their possession, but we do have a massive push coming in on the Charlie flag from MYM, and uh, they're going to try and get this CA uh, fairly early on as it does look like they were able to clean up every person on that flag. Now we do have some back spawns for Dignitas. Waffy, now this is legal here, guys. You can't get up on the roofs, but you can get up on top of these uh, little mashing machines. Waffy is going to be doing just that, able to get some uh, nice fire onto one. Uh, we do have Jerk, the last one left back up, and he's going to try. I, I think maybe he needs to go underground and uh, just forget about this particular flag as they're already gearing up for a two-man uh, push on him. And, oh, Jerk comes out on top in that exchange. It's going to be Waffy still going to be up there. And uh, can Jerk do it? Can he, can he stay alive? And uh, he's going to elect a back back up. Uh, but we do see in the process they are going to be able to win out onto that Charlie flag. And with them basically not not contesting A, but but keeping them pushed back at A, it's going to really help them out. Walu going to have to back back up. Spots out two. Oh, this is going to be very good if he takes them out and he doesn't. That's going to leave C wide open. Jerk going to be having to make a play here pretty soon as uh, they will be back in that two flag bleed. In just a few short moments, uh, we do have 179 to 180. Jerk is going to be pushing back up here. Uh, Wally, though, or not Wally, but Waffy ends up picking him out. That was going to be an easy pick up there. Punch rule, though, coming around the corner. Sneaky goes down. And I believe they are going to be able to clear out mid here as uh, it's going to be a triple cap in favor of MYM. A flag is going to be getting heavily contested here. Waffy's still alive. I don't know how he is, but he is. He's still alive over here. Should be going down here in just a second as those nade spams going to be coming in to play. And look at this. Just dodging, just juking him left and right. Finally gets taken down. But I believe that was Masu. And now Dignitas is going to have to repush their way back over here towards Charlie Flag. Jerk, though, uh, going to be able to get the nice hit fire spray on Punch Rule. It's going to leave that wide open. Nope, we do have Duckinator, though, that ended up shifting back out. Uh, so he will be able to pick up Jerk. And uh, that's going to be a one-on-three situation here for Safe as uh, he gets quickly picked up as well. Some spawns coming in by Punch Rule. He's going to be able to spot out Masu and Jerk at the same time. And a double nade kill as I think that was a body block there for one of those Dignitas players. And uh, that's going to be very, very critical here as Punch Rule pushes on through to Alpha Flag. Not able to get anything going on. But with that save there, it's going to keep that two-flag advantage into their favor. 175-145. They're looking really, really good right now. MYM uh, really starting to heat up within this matchup. Dignitas has to get out of this bleed. Uh, but then again, this is the team that comes from behind. They always play from behind. And uh, it seems like they play the best from behind. So you can never count this team out as uh, we have seen some pretty ridiculous comebacks before. Frantic going to have to back back up. Uh, push through. I, I would say he needs to push maybe through mid. and Basically going to be doing that right now. C flag going to be getting contested. B flag also going to be getting contested. And that was going to be safe with the pick up there. And a possible two. Oh my god. Safe with the wipe. That was a... Oh my god. Like what? Gets a three man kill on that Charlie flag. Saves it for his team. And that was just Dignitas uh, just body blocking once again, just trying to push up in a three cap going into their favor. So Dignitas 
really got to be hitting their head against the wall going, what just happened? As a safe is going to be trying to hold off once again by himself. It's going to be Walu leading the charge, trying to go up onto that Charlie flag. And he will be able to spot out safe fairly easily. Gets that cap onto C flag. It's going to be a one on one now, actually. Duckinator stopping that cap. As I did think that, I, I thought that we had at least two players following up. Walu uh, pushing back behind. He gets some pings over there from Bravo Flag, and Duckinator still going to be holding down uh, below. Walu finally dropping down. We'll be able to get the kill. Flax, though, uh, going to be backing up towards that Alpha site as uh, Masu ends up cleaning up or getting cleaned up over there onto uh, Tunnels. Jerk also following it up. Wafi gets taken out fairly easily on B, but I would imagine we're going to be seeing a rotation over here on a Charlie Flag from Punch Rule. Uh, to try and get this back. Now, they're being a little bit cautious. It doesn't look like they know uh, the, quite the positions of Dignitas here. As uh, That's actually going to be very helpful here as uh, Walu will be able to push back up onto Charlie Flag. Punch will finally getting out onto C. And uh, they will be able to stop this burn, possibly. It's going to be a 2-2 setup here as Wafi is going to be coming down on top. Uh, he, is he going to be able to spot out Walu? Actually, where are these players? Sneaky going to be down below. Uh, there we go. We're going to be seeing one jump down. Wafi going to be jumping down. He gets taken down. As Sneaky also gets taken out from the side, but that's going to be okay. As uh, we do have a wipe now coming in for uh, Dignitas. They were able to take out every one of those players, and now Alpha Flag will be getting flashed. I actually saw Punch Roll. Where is Punch Roll? As uh, A flag <clears throat> still going to be getting contested, but this is good. Good here for Dignitas. They want this as they're going to be able to pressure this team <clears throat> over onto the Alpha side. And now it's going to be 150 to 91 in favor of MYM. They're still looking very, very strong. Walu ends up going down. Frank are going to be following it up uh, over here in the mid. And, and, and they need to be pulling back to C if they want to try and save this cap. They got to know Walu uh, has talked and he has said that the, the positioning of this MYM team, but it's going to be a four on two with a back reach from Flaxy, and he will be able to clean it up. And that was a nice play there from Flax as he will be able to take out Charlie Flag. And uh, they could actually pressure in onto Bravo here if they want to save. Uh, going to be looking for any kind of a, a rotate or uh, a reinforcements coming in. So Dignitas once again on the back foot. MYM just doing everything right as it is 139 to 82. We'll be seeing Walu trying to follow it back up into mid. Will not be able to uh, get any of those kills, actually, as Duckinator finished him off. We do have Flax, though, holding it down, uh, basically forcing them down into that tunnel where it's going to be a little bit easier for him to hold it. Masu getting onto that Charlie flag will be going into their favor. Flaxy coming up from behind, not able to get the spawns just yet. And that was a nice pickup there on Frantic as well as on Masu. Beautiful plays coming in for Flaxy as uh, he is just on on his game today he really is he is on his game all of MYM is just on their game today and uh, now we are going to be seeing some long-range shots happening over there onto that Bravo flag a flag going to be getting contested once again at, or, oh my god MYM going in for that trip cap and we are going to be seeing Dignitas just getting completely stomped here 131 to 68 as MYM just just really beasting it up now we are going to be seeing safe getting taken out but that flag is neutralized which means somebody has to go back there and try and cap that out. 131 to one or to 64. Jerk gonna make his way onto this Charlie flag. And Dignitas is definitely on the back foot, but they will be able to get that Bravo cap here in just a second. Punch we're gonna be pushing in down below. Be fairly low on health. I like the way MYM is playing this map so far. They have the lead. Uh, they're, they're not playing too passively, but at the same time, they're not playing too aggressive. They're uh, definitely being smart about all of their pushes, but it looks like they were able to wipe out C completely. They're also able to wipe out Bravo Flag, and now they are going to be back in with the Power Flags for Zavod. Masu going to be back up over here on the Bravo side of the map. Needs to really uh, focus on trying to stop any kind of a back rage, although it looks like Flax is perfectly content on just trying to see where they're going out into mid. And once again, they they are content with just sitting here, guys, as they don't have to get the bleed in their favor. Sneaky going to be pushing back down, uh, not going to be spawning out that last and final player there from MYM. We should be seeing uh, Frantic able to clean him up, but spawns should be coming in also for MYM as Punch Roll 
seemingly just juking all of the bullets. Nice job there. Walu coming in. Will he be able to clean it up? It's going to be a one on one situation. One on two. Walu gets taken down from the side. And uh, look at that. That's going to be MYM completely cleaning that up. Nice job there. We do have uh, Dignitas, though, coming in from the top. Uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be frantic as he's going to be leading the charge, trying to come in here onto C Flag. It's going to be a one on three situation here as C Flag will be going back into their favor. One player left back up. That's going to be Waffy, not going to be able to stay alive as he does end up going down. And now the rotation coming out to Bravo Flag to try and get out of this two cap lead. It's going to be Duckinator here. Uh, the top B Flag is going to be flashing. He knows that there's players here, but he's going to be playing very, very, uh, very cautious. And I like this play here. They got 100 tickets that they can play with. They don't have to get too crazy. Nice pick up there on Walu. That's going to stop the burn on Bravo Flag. And now Jerk is going to be the last one left back up to try and get this cap back. Still, uh, MYM has yet to uh, to get a flag back. They are down one. Finally going to be able to secure B Flag. But uh, will will Dignitas be able to to enforce this? I don't think they will. I think that they're going to be losing C basically right off the bat without getting MYM sub 100. And this is this is a big deal here, guys. 113 to 20. You do not want to be going into Zavod's second round uh, plus 100 tickets or down 100 tickets. I mean, that's that's not a good thing as uh, Dignitas will finally be able to get that recap on C flag. Every ticket is going to count. We're going to be seeing some, some basically team play coming in here as they're going to have to stick together in pairs. Uh, we definitely need to see more res is going to be coming out. Uh, defensive plays from Dignitas, but I don't think it's going to be possible here as Puncher is going to be making his play onto uh, that alpha flag. He's going to be able to spot out Walu, who was waiting, but uh, ended up moving. Will not be able to take him down. And uh, now Jerk going to try and save his flag for his team. He ends up getting taken down from the side. That's going to be Wafi using that uh, step up. Once again, 98 to 18, they really need to burn them down another probably 20 to 30 tickets in order to feel comfortable coming in to the second round. It's going to be an A-B hold here for MYM and 12 tickets left for Dignitas. So it's crunch time here, guys. It's crunch time. They need to make something happen now. Let's take a look over here on the Charlie as Duckinator. going to be outside the wall looking to uh, make a play in onto C. Jerk, though, will be able to come out on top in that exchange. We do have Masu uh, with a free win over here onto A, was able to take out Punchrel. And uh, now it's going to be up to uh, to Dignitas really to hold this play. It's not the, the ideal flag position, uh, but it will definitely serve their purpose here. 92 tickets left to go against five. B flag going to be getting uh, great out here. We did have uh, Sneaky, who uh, was definitely very sneaky and able to get back up onto that flag hold might actually go down here pulls out that magnum but again not able to spam enough dps down range flax ends up going down uh fr frantic going to be following that back up and uh, they have to be careful how many bodies they throw at this flag here as they still have the two cap bleed but they're about to give it up as charlie flag is going to be getting pressure by safe it's going to be a spot at one nice nade coming in there that was a beautiful play as Jerk will be spawning back in. Three tickets left to go. Nice pick up there on punch roll. 77 tickets to go. This is the Dignitas that we all know as they're going to be making their comeback. Able to drive this lead down from 40 tickets now to uh, really they've, they've been able to burn about 30 to 40 tickets off. A flag is also going to be getting held on. We have a massive spawn coming back here for MYM. Two more players going down. 70 tickets left here for MYM. They've got to close this out here as it's going to be a trip cap once again in their favor. Dignitas playing very, very smart as we're having Sneaky also going to be coming around the corner. This is just awesome play coming in here. Masu going to be the last one left back up. Can he get the res on while he does? And this is going to be critical that he does. We'll be able to get the pickups. Wow. One ticket left to go. 57. This is crazy here. Dignitas with another, another big comeback at the very end of the map. And, you know, this, this would somewhat be constituted as, as MYM's fault as they just got a little bit too cocky coming in here. Now Dignitas getting completely wiped out there. It's going to be one person left. It's going to be Sneaky as uh, he's the only player on the map. But, again, they're burning tickets down. Sneaky is doing a great job staying alive. And uh, they have the two-cap bleed still in their favor. 40 tickets left to go. Uh, is MYM spawned in? No, Safe and uh, Waffy are trying to save tickets. They don't want to waste any more tickets spawning in, but they may have to if uh, Sneaky... No, he's just going to be—he's just going to be playing it safe here. Uh, might actually be getting onto the C burn, but I don't think he's going to be able to burn it down fast enough. Uh, no, he's not. And there you go. Nice job. Good half. That was a great half. As uh, 14 minutes of just pure back and forth. 36 tickets though. 36 tickets. We had a hundred ticket lead at one point, or actually it was a 70 ticket lead at one point, and Dignitas was able to bleed that down to now only a 40 ticket lead. Huge, huge things right there.
So now Dignitas definitely sees a light at the end of the tunnel. They have a chance to take out MYM. 36 tickets is not a whole lot, especially when you have 200 to start out with. So definitely good job there. Guys, amazing stuff coming out. Can Dignitas win this? Do you think Dignitas has it in them to take this match? MYM, they're looking strong, but they just lost it there at the end. That was just crazy, crazy play. And uh, it looks like Wafi going to be checking his food. So it's not going to be live on this round. So we're going to be taking just a quick little break. I'm not going to be going anywhere, though. But we're going to be kind of just kicking back, relaxing, maxing and relaxing, if you will. Uh, anyways, guys, if you do enjoy what you're seeing, you can hit that follow button down below. Would appreciate it. And uh, you know what? Follow me on Twitter. I'll go live every single time I post up on Twitter. So you guys can definitely check that out. And uh, if you're enjoying this cast here, you might enjoy previous casts as I do upload them back up on YouTube, youtube.com slash AaronTVH1. If you want to go check that out, you can scroll down to the links below. Click on that YouTube logo. If you want to compete in any Go4 Cups in the future, you can do so. Just scroll down in the links below. Click on the ESL uh, logo down there. That will take you straight to the website. Also, if you want to play in the Naval Strike Cup, which is going to be coming up next uh, Monday. It's going to be on the 21st, so actually tomorrow. Unfortunately, I will not be there to cast it. Uh, but if you guys do want to play in that, that's going to be sponsored by AMD. They're giving away five brand new graphics cards. 290X. Cannot beat that. If you need some new graphics cards for your PC, definitely go check that out. Sign up. It is completely free. We'll be on the new Naval Stripe uh, map, so you do have to have the DLC. Sorry to those who do not have it, but that is it. And, uh, yeah, so who do you guys think is going to win? Do you think Dignitas can pull it out? Do you think that MYM will be able to shut them down in a convincing fashion? I don't know. Again, this is Dignitas that we're talking about. And they are they are inconsistent. I mean, I love Dignitas. I love the players on that team. I, I've, I've loved them for, for a couple years now. But they are just inconsistent. They, they show up one minute, and then they don't the next, you know. And, uh, you know, granted, what happened there, they, they got a wipe. And, and when you're able to get that, that initial wipe, uh, not only were they able to get one wipe, but they actually got two wipes back-to-back. -back. And... Yeah, that right there pretty much secures you getting at least 50 tickets. Um, but still, at the same time, you know, they were losing out on a lot of fights. Uh, the jerk Waffy standoff over there, why, why, didn't, why didn't Jerk get any kind of spawns going off? I mean, he could have had one spawn on him, uh, going around the corner, act as a decoy on Alpha, and then, uh, you know, Jerk could have ended up finishing him off. But, you know, hey, crazy stuff happens around the map, so, you know, Shot Caller may have seen something else and uh, was calling that. So anyways, we are going to be here for round number two of the ESL Go4 Cup. It's going to be cup number 16, and we are here on Zavod. It's going to be MYM versus Dignitas. Should be an interesting matchup here, as Dignitas is going to be behind 36 tickets. They have to win by 37 in order to move on in the finals versus probably Fnatic. So here we go. We are going to be seeing a fairly safe breakout. Three players over here to be a little bit... Uh, I don't know, I guess you could say not normal. As uh, we do have MYM also going to be pushing out over onto uh, Bravo 5 with two players of their own. Nice pickup there by Flax. He's able to get that RGO impact. Uh, and then there you go. There's Sneaky with a huge back rage coming around the corner. And B should be going into the favor of Dignitas. It does. Flax coming around the corner. Will not be able to pick up. Nice job there. As that's two players down for MYM. Duckinator though going to be making his way onto that Bravo flag. He also gets taken down. So Dignitas looking very, very strong at the very beginning of this match. They will be able to go out to a at least a 20, maybe 30 ticket lead here in just a second. And they're going to be pressuring it onto the Charlie flag. Uh, we do have uh, MYM following that back up onto C. We'll be able to get the reses as well as the kills. So it's Charlie Flag will be staying into their possession. We do have a uh, safe going around back to Alpha Flag. A four-man pushing out over here to B. And this is uh, really going to be critical here that Dignitas hold this off. Uh, Masu able to get up one. And then there you go. Three players going down now. Ducking into the last one left. And uh, this could definitely go in the, the favor of Dignitas. As we're seeing 196 to the 174. They're really starting to heat up here. And I, I 
One-on-one -on -one standoff, though, with Dignitas coming out on top in that exchange, and now Sneaky going down. So Masu is the last one back uh, up. I would like to see a shift from Alpha Flag onto Charlie, as there's nobody left there for MYM. And now Masu with that beautiful defense on B-Flag. is going to be a three-on-one, and here we go. Dignitas uh, is going to be spawning Jerk and Frantic. I don't think that was a smart decision, but they are going to be coming in to try and defend this right now. It is still going to be neutralized, as uh, right there we see one Jerk going to be able to spot him out. We have Frantic coming around the corner. Will he be able to get the back raise? He's going to be going for it right now, taking a little bit of time, but his teammates do go down. Sneaky going to be spawning back up as well. Uh, coming around the corner, able to, not able to take out safe as he was going down, but there's the rotate to, uh, to see. Unfortunately, it wasn't fast enough, and Flax was able to get onto that alpha flag. Now we do have uh, one more here for Dignitas. It's going to be frantic. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one shaping up, and frantic just out into the open and not able to get anything done there. We do have Punch Roll, uh, who might actually get any kind of a back rage, possibly go on to C-Flag. I'm not really sure. Sneaky does end up going down. Masu able to pick up one. Uh, he knows that they're back there. And he does wait for spawns. He's able to get one on him. Uh, C-Flag is going to be getting contested. Alpha goes into the favor of Dignitas, as they did went out in that one-on-one. -on -one. Sneaky, though, going to be back up. Both of those players go down. That was safe with the nice pickups there. And uh, we're going to be seeing a trip cap coming in here for MYM. Look at this. As Flax able to win out against Jerk. And now... Dignitas is going to be on the back foot, but this is this is something that happens fairly regularly with teams that go for trip caps as uh, they do overextend quite a bit. Frantic going to be getting caught out of position. A back rage from Duckinator will be able to take him down. Safe going to be coming around the backside of Bravo Flag. will be able to pick up Masu. Should be able to spot out Jerk. He's got to know there's at least one more left. He is see him, but Jerk just too fast on the trigger. We'll be able to take him down. Sneaky, though, coming around the corner. Uh, B-Flag going to be going into their favor. Nice pick up there on Duckinator. Look at that 600-point swing in his favor. Nice job there. As uh, 150 to 162, uh, we have seen the uh, the tickets even up quite a bit. MYM doing a great job here of staying in this game. Now, remember, MYM just has to drag Dignitas down below 36 tickets. Masu getting taken down in tunnels. We also had a trade, I believe. As uh, No, that was uh, Sneaky. Ended up getting the last player into uh, the tunnels there. Also going to be able to pick up Wafi. So that's going to leave A completely wide open. But really, and wow, actually Dignitas set up really nicely to defend against this. They have a four-man uh, push coming in onto Charlie Flag. Puncher going to be caught out in the open. He ends up going down. Uh, Jerk, he needs to stay alive here. He has a chance to hold off on this push. Gets shot from the side. And now Masu is going to have to make the decision. Do I go back for B? Do I go for C? Going for C! I like this play here from Masu, but not able to get inside as we do have Flax able to pick up both of those kills. Nice job there. Uh, now Walu is going to be left all alone. He ends up going down. They have to be careful not to get wiped here. There's only two of them left, and that's going to be one now. Jerk, the last one there. He gets taken down. Spawn's coming in. Say, don't go in huge right now. Might be able to finish this off. Impact's coming in. It's going to be very low on health, but I think his teammates should be able to secure this flag, and they do. Sneaky ends up going down. We do have a uh, push coming back in here from Wallo. He's going to be down below as uh, he spots out Wafi within that C-cap radius. Oh, my God, two players coming around. We'll be able to finish out Dignitas in 122-148. to 148. They have taken the lead. MYM looking really strong. They didn't like the fact that Dignitas kind of showed them up there at the end. They're going to try and make up for that, absolutely, as we're seeing Jerk going down, Flax going down. Wafi is going to be back up. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one here as Wallow ends up taking him out. Dignitas is going to have to re-push down into Charlie Flag. We need to be seeing uh, at least at least one player staying back onto A, and that's going to be Wallow here. Does end up going down. No rotations in sight for Dignitas. There we go. Sneaky going to be making his way back through mid. Going to be able to catch out Punchrel into the open. But Flax there with the pickup. And, oh, Flax has to be careful. If he was taken down there, that could have given them enough time to uh, try and make a push coming in. But three players down for Dignitas. They're going to have to play a little bit on the defensive now as uh, Jerk's going to be re-pushing. Or actually, he's not going to be pushing. He's going to be holding down here onto this Charlie cap. We do have Waffy, though, that's going to be coming in through tunnels. And uh, I love this play here from NYM. They have Waffy basically uh, being a little bit of a decoy. And then uh, as he comes into the map, Flax is also going to be coming in on top. They will be able to get uh, that C flag and Duckinator holding on onto Bravo. Alpha going into the favor of uh, Dignitas here. And they're going to be stuck over here onto the Alpha side of the map, which is not the side that they want to be on whatsoever. 91 to 139. Remember, Dignitas has to win by 37 tickets or more 
in order to move on into the finals. And there you go, Sneaky ends up getting taken down by Ducknator. Good defense coming in here for MYM, and they're going to be making a play here for Charlie Flag. Flax is going to be able to hear out one, takes down Walu. Is there another back rage coming in? That's going to be Masu with the hipfire spray. Turns around, ends up going down. That's not going to be enough there. As Safe with another two pickup. Let's take a look at Safe right now. As he is only 14 and 4, but dang, he's been doing some work for his teammates there. Look at that, 15 and 9, 13 and 5, all in double digits here for MYM. And that right there is definitely critical when you want to win your matches. Masu going to be getting the nice hit fire spray on Wafi as well as going to be getting the, the assist on safe. And now they're going to be able to get a C flag back. But here's the thing. A flag, once again, is basically left undefended. And this is going to be very, very critical. As, uh, ooh, that was, uh, that was a good pickup there for Flax. As Sneaky going to be making his way over here onto Alpha Flag. Is he going to be going for that res? No, going to be going in for Bravo Flag, actually. As they will be trying to set up for this BC hold, but only even one back for Charlie Flag. Now, I don't really agree with this. Four players out to Bravo? Now, granted, MYM playing very defensively, actually, as uh, they just completely stopped within the map. You don't really see that very often from MYM as they just stopped while they had the uh, the one cap. Now Safe is going to be pushing up through Charlie Flag. Anybody here from Dignitas? That's going to be frantic. He ends up going down. Now Walu going to be making his way over there. We'll be able to take out Wafi. 59 to 123. This is where uh, Dignitas starts to heat up. And if they're going to heat up, they need to do it now. As uh, we're not looking too good. If you are a Dignitas fan, Punch will get shot from the side. We'll be basically surviving narrowly. Wafi saving his bacon there. Frantic now going to be pushing up onto that Bravo flag. He's going to be stopping or slowing down that cap just a little bit. And they're going to be pressuring in for a three cap here. Uh, Masu going to be the only one left up to try and defend this Alpha flag. Might actually get the side rage here in just a second. We, did we have some spawns on him as well? No, we didn't. Uh, but uh, we'll be able to spot out that last player. Should be able to spot out that last player. Doesn't. Alpha flag is going to be going into the possession of MYM here. Punch rule, though. Going to be trying to hold on over here next to Bravo. Nade spam going everywhere. He is going to be low on health. Do we have a push coming in for Dignitas? We do. And now, look at this push coming in for Charlie Flag. Frantic going to be all alone. Walu finally going to be coming in. Nice pick up there on Wafi. As he will be able to get the twist shots on him. And then Frantic ends up going down trying to save that Charlie cap. Will not be able to do so. Alpha Flag, though, going into their favor. So once again, Dignitas going to try and go for those miracle caps. As they will be able to finish off on Alpha and Bravo. 88 tickets left for MYM. And uh, it's going to be very close here for Dignitas here. They only have they only have about 20 tickets to play with here, guys. As uh, They're going to have to get every single one of the reses. They're going to have to start getting all of their med packs down, healing up before they go in for these fights. As Masu spots out one, trying to get him. We're going to be playing a little bit of uh, merry-go-round. But uh, just Flaxy coming out on top in that exchange. And now he ends up going down. Safe ends up uh, back up over here onto Alpha. Three-man going to be up here. Walu, though, with a beautiful pickup. Can he make it a second one? Spots out one. Oh, Duckinator. Nice, nice uh, play there. As he wasn't going to be able to spot him out. Not going to be able to get in the kill, though, as Walu goes down. Frantic going to be coming back up, back behind. Has a chance to go for a back rage. Will not be able to be successful. Sneaky now going to be up in mid. 73 tickets left to go. 72. Remember, they have to win by 39 tickets. 37 tickets, rather. I'm sorry, guys. 40 tickets, 46 tickets left to go for Dignitas. They don't have a whole lot to play with. 10 tickets is all. And they have a very, very long road ahead of them if they want to uh, make this happen. Sneaky ends up getting taken down. Uh, we do have Duckinator down. Just so much action going on over here next to this Charlie Flag. Flax is going to be pushing back up through mid. Will he be able to take out? Yes, he does. Walu, why would you pressure that? I'm not sure. And then Jerk follows that, or Frantic follows that back up. Not sure what's going on there. As, uh, you know, Walu didn't even get any kills or any picks on him. So I'm not really sure what's going through Dignitas' head right now as they are going to be losing Bravo Flag. <coughs> they are losing tickets. 41 left to go. 51. MYM knows all they have to do is just bleed them out. They have 51 tickets to play with there. Wow, we only have five for Dignitas. Charlie Flag going into the favor of Dignitas right now. We do have three players back over onto the Bravo side for MYM. 
Now, granted, I do not think that uh, Dignitas is going to be able to win this, but they are making one heck of a showing. 39 tickets left to go to 42, and there you have it. That is it, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be seeing MYM pushing up into the finals. They will most likely be going up against Fnatic. So nice job there. MYM had a little bit of trouble there at the end. Both times, Dignitas making a really good comeback. And uh, once again, this is this is the Dignitas team that I'm talking about here, guys. They're just why weren't they playing like that at the beginning? You know, why why weren't we show you know seeing that when they had 50 tickets to play with, when they had 60 tickets in their favor? You know, instead they're just <clears throat> they're just not able to get it done. So uh, there you have it. MYM will be pushing up into the finals. Let's take a look over here at our uh, brackets as we will check out who made it up from <clears throat> Infamous versus Fnatic. And Fnatic did take that one, as we all pretty much had guessed. And there you go. We are going to be seeing the MYM Fnatic Finals in the go for. What map are we actually going to be playing on? We are going to be playing on Dawnbreaker. Ugh, this is going to be a, uh, a curious map to play for the finals. So anyways, guys, we do appreciate you coming out and watching. 